is the place They say People come from far, far, far away To find their dreams Chasing down these medias and comments Called dreams in the sky of life Chasing them, chasing them, chasing them down we're about to talk about it. So the one division ending got tweaked. Now uh, I'm not sure if this is something we all just missed. I don't think we all missed this for this long. But there was something tweaked in the series finale, and someone recently seen it. I went to Disney Plus and watched it myself to see if this was true, and uh, we're going to talk about it real fast. So let me bring this up here. Give me a moment. We'll just, I'll show you guys the person in this video who was talking about it. Shouts out Perk for this topic. Yo, 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 hey, first things first. I gotta let y'all know how to do something. i let y'all know how to do something. Uh, I need you guys to come over here. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Hit all, so you can get all the KDOS notifications. But let's continue on with this video. I just want to change the ending of WandaVision right. without telling There's a conspiracy. Marvel just went ahead and changed the ending of WandaVision without telling anybody. So if you guys remember, by the end of WandaVision, we see Wanda here learning from the evil Dark Hold. She's out in a cabin, and they specifically went ahead and altered this scene and added a new character. Pay attention. This is what it originally looked like. But now they went back and added this floating silhouette right here where my finger's pointing at that looks like Doctor Strange or heck it could even be Vision coming in to join Wanda at the cabin. My money is that it's supposed to be Doctor Strange and that's his silhouette coming in because Kevin Feige did confirm he was supposed to show up in the show but they cut his appearance. Now we just gotta ask ourselves as fans why did Marvel go ahead and do this and why did they tell nobody and who is this supposed to be? It might not be Doctor Strange. You guys let me know. Okay. Uh, well, I will say this to start it off. Um, I have nothing against them tweaking a finale at the last minute or whatever. I mean, it's just a little small thing they added in. Uh, my thing is this, it's either Vision or Doctor Strange. I'm leaning a little bit more towards Doctor Strange, but I mean, if that was Doctor Strange, he would have most likely just portaled in there. He would just portaled into Wanda's uh, cabin. He wouldn't have flown, he would just portaled in there. May it probably was Vision because Vision can cloak his body too. So, mm, so I think it was Vision. We're, su we're supposed to see a um, silhouette. Fuzzy yeah. A fuzzy and then and that's on purpose yeah okay. it's on purpose i looked okay. at the ep i looked at the series finale again on disney plus yeah. and i can see it like not even trying hard to see it you can see it like anyway you cannot miss it so i think it might be a uh, vision i think it actually might be a uh, vision makes sense that it is actually vision because dr strange usually just portals into where he's uh going to he doesn't really cloak himself like that not saying he can't you ever watch Harry Potter or read the Harry Potter books and why Dumbledore explained to Harry, we don't, we know we can do apparitions, but it would be rude to just show up on a guy's front door. So we come to the neighborhood and then we walk over to the person. Maybe that's the magician logic that Dr. Strange had there. Yeah, maybe if it's him, but I'm, I'm skeptic that it's even him because I'm thinking about how she doesn't even acknowledge him. Like, did they reshoot Elizabeth Olsen's part? No, her part is still the same. They just... So that whole scene is still the same. They just add in that little white um, silhouette. But everything else is still the same. Elizabeth Without the acknowledgement. But don't you see how that's a problem? How they added in the silhouette thing. Because obviously no one's really flying, right? It's impossible to actually right. fly. It. Then, then she doesn't look at the guy who just flew in. It's so weird. Um, yeah, well, this is me. Chimanga, this is how I would have introduced Doctor. For, for me, Doctor Strange should have been in the show. Uh -huh. the, all, the biggest issue with WandaVision is that Doctor Strange should have been in the show. And we got sorcerers even, showing up in Shang-Chi fighting Abomination, but we couldn't have sorcerers dealing with the Hex. Right. I, and, you know, not saying he had to fix it, but he should have been there to assist. So this is what they should have done in the end, at least. 
Dr. Strange should have uh, portaled into her room while she's reading her book. And then Dr. Strange looks at Wanda and goes like, you know, Wanda, we got to talk. At least something. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, he shows up in the final episode where the hex starts to uh, get bigger and stuff and he senses it. Because for Dr. Strange to not sense the fact that there was a hex, but Agatha can, it doesn't work. Because we know we know for sure someone like the ancient one, the previous one, would have definitely found out about that hex. Uh, it, the previous ancient one would have definitely found out about that uh, hex. I think and so. She would have showed up to deal with that issue because Wanda is using all this magic. She doesn't know how she's using it. She abducted a bunch of people, and someone like uh, the ancient one or the source of Supreme would come deal with that. Whether it's Dormammu, whatever, she should have. Uh, he should have shown up. He should have sensed it. But, you know, just because they added this in, it doesn't take away from the show for me. It's just what it's just something. It, all I see here is just, you know, them trying to make up for what they should have done, which you said, you know, added this in. So are we believing that when we first originally watched WandaVision, that wasn't there? But they added it in like this week somebody went to the editor's room and said, let's make it fuzzy where it looks like someone flew in. Is that what you mean? Added in? Yeah, it's it just been added in. Like just randomly added in. I didn't, I I didn't need, know. You know what I would in. need to do? There's a lot of people with YouTube reactions to the final end credit scene. And I want to watch their feed to see if the silhouette is also there. And then I'll be able to be like, oh, it was added in. Let me see. You have your reaction up? No, I didn't react to the final episodes. Uh, I reacted to the first couple. Yeah, see, even Rogue said, just checked it out. And yes, yeah, definitely someone in a cape faded out. I'm thinking it's a villain or white vision. It, I think it's most likely vision because vision is the only one who comes in like that. Do you see my screen? Yep, I see it. You're up. Okay. There. Oh, they skipped it. Like, I, do you see it? I'm to rewind that. Yeah, they kind of make a jump cut, but I don't see it on the top left corner. They jumped and skipped. Oh. Well, let me show, let me know it. Let me actually show you the Disney. Know it. This stream's going to get demonetized anyways. I'm going to show you the Disney Plus uh, episode. Let's just watch that part of the episode. Guys, we're going to look at the actual part from the episode. See, you can see it right there in the top left corner. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Was right in the top left corner. It's like a big white silhouette thingy. Yeah. But it's not, it's weird because it's not even naturally moving. It's like it's it looks like a stain on my uh, computer screen. Wow, where did the stain come from, K dot? Oh, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I mean, and like this thing, this thing, the, the silhouette, like, I'm not really accepting it like that. I don't want to really accept it like that because it's, it's the last minute, you know, it's last minute. It's, it's like when they came out with those, uh, when they gave us the high definite, high definition versions of uh, Star Wars and they did the CGI Jabba and stuff, you know, it's like, you can come in there and uh, enhance stuff, but to just add stuff in that wasn't originally there, because then, you know, I'm not saying it changes the whole episode. It doesn't change nothing. Because we don't, that silhouette, I can care less about it. It probably doesn't mean, it probably doesn't mean shit. I don't think it means shit. I think they just added it in to uh, trick us and deceive us again. Because we already know in Multiverse of Madness, I know for sure White Vision is going to be in that movie, and uh, Doctor Strange is going to be on that be in that movie. We know that she's going to interact with him, so it was no point in putting in that uh, white silhouette. It was no point. Yeah, and I'm still going to maintain my skepticism of I don't think they really did. Maybe it's the reflection of the water when the lens flare was was on the screen. I don't know. Look, I'm just going to say this. I'm not sure what it was. But I'm gonna take it with a, a grain of salt of what it could be. Take it with a grain, grain of salt, guys. A grain of salt. 
Yeah, they probably did. They could have added in more in the show that we don't know. That's no, a conversation though. We, we mentioned Star Wars and that's been met with like criticism, but is adding things to shows prior to their release an okay thing? I, 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 I in my honest opinion, I don't think you should do it. Cause like, once you, it's like when they dropped Avengers Endgame, right? And then they did the re-release and added in a couple of scenes. And even though those scenes didn't really t- change the movie or do anything, it's like, you can't just do that. It's like, once you give us the product, you gotta give us what you give us. You can't just add in stuff later and try to fix things. It's like- Which scenes are you talking about? The one where Hulk is talking to the firefighter from Family Matters? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the then movie was over. Scene. Then they added some more scenes. What other deleted scenes they add in? Oh, that's the only one that I noticed. If they added another one, I don't know. Yeah, well, they added something in the post credit scene, really didn't affect the movie. But still, I don't think you should be adding stuff in later at the last minute, like months later. Yeah. You know, just leave it as it is. You just leave the product as it is. What you gave us is what you gave us. You know, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to take it. I'll make exceptions. You guys remember the Mandalorian finale where Luke Skywalker's fighting with his lightsaber. There is a couple of moments in when he's fighting like all eight of those, what are they called? Death troopers? The, the yeah. you know the machine ones there's a lot of times where he's moving and he kind of stops moving and then he gets the other guy when he stops i'm expecting him to be shot at so it is a little bit sloppy if they go in there and edit and maybe just skip the parts where he's frozen where i'm thinking why aren't they shooting i'd be fine with that if you make technical improvements or in star wars like the original star wars when they do edit and add cgi to make it actually look like an alien planet I'm accepting of that. It's not changing the plot, but they were restricted by their time and the technology, and now they're doing the vision of what George Lucas wanted. I am yeah. okay with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, I, I think I think there should you know there should be a there should be a big gap of time until you start doing you know tweaking things. Like the whole thing with George Lucas, it makes sense why they did make those changes, like the CGI Jabba and stuff. Because back then, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people t- watching today. Mm-hmm. could look at that old stuff and probably gave it a harder time than it already did and not understand that that is a product of its time. I'm but one of those do, people. But I do want to enhance it so the newer so the newer generation will have a more comfortable time watching it and not feel uncomfortable and critique too much of the effects and stuff. And just, you know, try to make it for the modern day, but still hold on to the still hold on to what made it what, what made it work in the first place. That's a good example right there, the Jabba thing. But Han shooting Greedo, uh, or at the same time as they edited it, that changes the plot. Yeah. Uh, Rogue said, I'm okay with them adding stuff in if it makes it so better, but it has to be tasteful. Yeah, it gotta, it gotta be tasteful. If as long, as long as you, if it's added in and it works and makes sense, I might let it slide. But if it's just super random, out of nowhere, like honestly, honestly, they could have honestly just caught up uh, Elizabeth Olsen, reshot the scene, and have Doctor Strange teleport in, Bender to come back, teleport in, and he says, Wanda, we need to talk. You know, if you really wanted to give us something, give me us a white silhouette that doesn't really give me nothing. That's why I'm not raving over it. Yo, 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 hey, if you guys want to do extra things to support this channel, I mean, you can already subscribe to the channel. You can hit this bell and hit all. But another thing you got over here, you see that join button? Y'all see that shit right there? You see that join button? Hit click that shit. And once you click that shit, you can select any of these this tiers. You can join whichever one you want to of your choice. They and I'll promise to deliver the content that you need me to deliver as you request it. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this. Let's get back to this video because, uh, you know, I got some more fire I got to go spit. Let's go. What did you do? What did you do? No.